For this third use case, the enterprise project management, we're going to start here at the portfolio dashboard. Now, this allows you to have multiple different widgets that are operating and have the data pulling in with real-time data. As folks at the bottom level, as we've seen before, executing on tasks as things are being updated in the project plans. All of these different widgets from the risks to the health of your projects to milestones being completed and your entire timeline chart to make sure you hit on those specific dates are all being updated in real time. As we look at another dashboard, and notice looking at this specific project related dashboard, you've got your notes to what's the health of this specific project, even down into the snapshots. So the change management of what's happening within this project specifically, we can see the details burn down and even look at our full project map view. As we go a little bit more detail into here, notice these are drillable, right? So we've got the real-time data in the dashboard, but then we come to our specific project to be able to plan and replan as things are changing and adapting to change. As we see a project plan here, notice that things are always going to change. And as we come here to our project snapshot, we can click on our original baseline to see where we were when we first started this project. You notice some of these changes, some of these milestones pushed out a little bit as things change. Every change can be documented, can be tracked, can be shared with different folks. We can even see here and where we're in this type of view and we push things out. Notice not only the dependencies that are dotted lines, but as they're tied to different milestones, we're pushing out this UI design milestone, and it's going to track that here in this project snapshot because we have this freeze pane um, pulled up already. Now, when we come back here and look at our project plan, we might want to take a bigger look and come up to our entire portfolio and not only see what's happening with that website development plan, looking at these different milestones, which our reflection of these chevron buckets, but we can also see things like where are some of these cross project dependencies that we've got from one project to another point in the project. And at any point in time, you can see really a full detail outline what those are. So to be able to have change management within a true PPM tool is extremely important. Progeo allows you to do just that. Now, there's a lot more that we want to talk about and look into briefly in this use case. Also, being able to look at the prioritization. Having this type of save view and another report that I can say this prioritization is allowing me to see what projects that I have have the highest priority. Notice we've got our business drivers. You've got your impact statement as you pull this down and we can score them and weight them, which gives you a full score. And then Progeo then can auto rank this based on the changes that, you, that you've made. And then being able to sort this and look at what is our highest rate project based on those business drivers and impact statements and see that throughout the application. Now, if I come here to my map view, we can see our ranking listing out our projects here in this type of visual patented view that Progeo has. So you can visualize not only what are your milestones, but how do they span over multiple years and no, multiple different views to be able to see the data. The last thing I want to touch on is always being able to come and see who are those resources that are working on those specific projects and see this type of map view, not only to then pull up the split screen functionality and see, hey, this individual is working on this. We can pull up the settings and details of all the tasks and activity settings and reassign, maybe add a new assignment, change their workload. But you also have the ability to quickly jump to with automatically pulling up a new tab. So we're not losing our place in looking at this resource management to be able to see highlighting that area of the project that they're working on. So we can see this visual, what we call project map view, to be able to plan accordingly or replan, reassign some of these different initiatives or add some different folks in here with a different workload percentage. Thank you.